फ्रेंड्स आज हम डिस्कशन करने जा रहे हैं डिफरेंट लेयर्स ऑफ ऑफ द एटमोसफियर सो गोइंग टू स्टार्ट डिफरेंट लेयर्स ऑफ दिस एटमोसफियर ऑफ दिस टॉपिक सो प्लीज आई रिक्वेस्ट ऑल माय फ्रेंड्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल लाइक शेयर एंड कमेंट्स so that there are uh, four different layers that is the uh, troposphere stratosphere mesosphere and thermosphere okay before going to uh, start this uh, detailed study regarding this topic actually this uh, topic is covering the uh, question oriented exam oriented that is net exam oriented question so let's start okay uh, the different layers of the atmosphere the atmosphere is comprised of layers that is based on temperature and these layers are troposphere stratosphere mesosphere ionosphere and thermosphere a further region at about 500 km above the earth surface is called as the exosphere uh, so here is the picture is uh, it is showing that the troposphere stratosphere mesosphere and thermospheres beyond that there is one sphere which exists that is called exosphere so here you can see that uh, these uh, spheres are categorized on the basis of temperature variation there is different temperature variation and over the different spheres so let's start First of all, discussing discussing about the troposphere. Actually, troposphere kya hai? Troposphere uh, isko Greek mein bola jata hai overtuning, overtoning. So it is varies 0 to 10 kilometer height from the earth surface. Here the temperature decreases with height. That is approximately 6.5 degree Celsius per kilometer. Okay, uh, due to adiabatic coolings strong vertical mixing uh, here different activities is uh, going on in this uh, troposphere and uh, uh, strong vertical mixing uh, is happening in this layer it contains more than 90 percent or 80 to 90 percent total mass of the atmosphere it contains almost all atmospheric uh, water called as with uh, so it is called as weather layer at the end of the troposphere here is a layer is called tropopause and it it is the connecting layer between troposphere and stratosphere okay so uh, tropopause what is its uh, significance it is very cold boundary between the troposphere and stratosphere the start of temperature inversion okay uh, here start of temperature inversion start hota hai. so kaise temp temperature inversion kya hai iske bare mein ek alag uh, discussion karenge ek alag video mein so it's a fast moving high altitude wind called a jet stream swirl around the planet near the upper boundary of the troposphere okay so most of the activities uh, atmospheric activities happening in the troposphere there is a uh, raining uh, and um, uh, jet stream is also commercial jet stream flying and and day-to-day -day weather uh, activities is happening in troposphere okay then we come to uh, next here temperature is uh, decreasing that is up to minus uh, 50 degree Celsius okay the temperature is decreasing up to minus 50 degree celsius so uh, then we come to next question next uh, stratosphere okay you can see that stratosphere stratosphere is uh, in accordingly greek it is called as laying flat and it is uh, varies from 10 to 15 kilometer here temperature is increase with height you can see uh, the temperature is increasing okay that means it's uh, minus 50 degree at troposphere 
and when it uh, in the stratosphere the temperature is increasing and the graph is bending towards right and it reaches up to minus 2 degree or minus 2 degree celsius we can say okay <coughs> minus 2 degree celsius so a plus 2 degree celsius so uh, so what is the significance of the stratosphere and uh, why the temperature inversion is uh, uh, is the major uh, activity in the stratosphere because uh, due to the absorption of uh, ultraviolet radiation by the ozone okay here is the this is the layer this is a light layer is present this is the ozone layer what is ozone ozone is a tri molecule uh, tri atomic uh, um, oxygen okay and it it is the, the concentration of ozone it is a layer present in the stratosphere and its significance is uh, it absorb the ultraviolet radiation that is coming from the sun and uh, for that reason the uh, the temperature become increase uh, become increases and uh, uh, so temperature inversion is happening okay the temperature inversion term is stable layering it reduce vertical mixing from the this point from this point the vertical mixing is yeah, reduces of two stratopods there is a layer that is a uh, boundary layer that is present between stratosphere and mesosphere that is a boundary line that is called stratopods okay upper end of the temperature inversions okay then we come to the strong horizontal wind blow in the stratosphere but there is a little turbulence and this is uh, ideal for plane that can fly in this part of the atmosphere the stratosphere is very dry and cloud are very rare okay okay then we come to our next atmospheric layer okay then it is called mesosphere so uh, what is mesosphere and uh, we'll discuss about this this is called as middle layer and it is varies from 50 to 90 kilo 90 uh, kilometer above the earth surface <clears throat> so uh, temperature decreases with height almost adiabatically and upper part of the closest part of the atmosphere and uh, the major powers what is major powers extremely cold uh, layer that is can uh, there is a boundary line between mesosphere and uh, thermosphere okay here is major powers we can found it is a boundary layer between mesosphere and thermosphere okay then we come to the what are the um, uh, the major photochemical species are oxygen uh, uh, ozone uh, water singlet oxygen so we can say hydroxyl uh, ion then methane s2 peroxide s2o2 okay so these are the um, atmo photochemical species they are found in this layer so the mesosphere is uh, collocated with uh, d region ionosphere and the lowest portion of the partially ionized plasma blanket that surrounded the earth okay uh, as you know that major, we are discussing about mesosphere okay here uh, the temperature again start decreasing with increase in height you can see that so here is a layer we found that is called d layer so d region of the iron sphere actually there is no separate uh, uh, sphere that is called as ionosphere actually ionosphere is varies from uh, um, uh, mesosphere to mesosphere to thermosphere okay that is varies, varies from mesosphere lower uh, mesosphere to higher thermosphere so these uh, um, there is uh, different uh, regions are there of the ionosphere we will discuss next slide so 
next slide is or next that is ionosphere you can see that there's the major sphere uh, this is the d layer ionosphere d layer that is e layer in that is present in thermosphere and f layer this is the upper part of the thermosphere so actually what is ionosphere the earth atmosphere contains a series of regions that have a relatively large number of electrically charged atoms and molecules as a group these regions are collectively called as ionosphere okay there are three main regions of the ionosphere called uh, the d layer the e layer and the f layer these regions do not have a sharp boundary so they do not have any sharp boundary and the altitude at which they occur vary during uh, the course of day and from season of season to season there is no particular boundary they are forming in season to season there is no particular altitude okay for uh, forming this layer then we come to uh, next point is the d region usually forms in the upper part of the mesosphere so sorry I earlier I told that it is a lower part sorry it was uh, the upper part of the mesosphere then while the e region is typically appears in the lower part of the thermosphere and f region is found in the upper uh, regions of the atmosphere upper regions of the thermosphere okay so uh, next we come to thermosphere so what is thermosphere thermosphere it is uh, uh, is the hot layer because uh, uh, it present above the 90 km from the earth surface strong temperature in what are the peculiar characteristics of this uh, thermosphere strong temperature increases with height due to absorption of ultraviolet radiation by oxygen and nitrogen extremely thin atmosphere okay um, extremely thin atmosphere temperature high but almost no masses energy content is low okay no defined upper end it has no any defined upper end upper end so we'll um, you know, what are this uh, summary of this atmosphere so these are the regions troposphere stratosphere mesosphere and thermosphere this is the altitude range that is 0 to 10 11 to 15 52 sorry 11 to 50 52 85 and more than 85 or 90 we can say it varies up to 800 km that is thermosphere when you come to the uh, temperature range variations in the first troposphere the temperature is decreases up to minus 56 degrees celsius then temperature is increases further that is uh, due to the presence of ozone layer that is up to minus 2 degree celsius then again in mesosphere it again decreases with increase in altitudes that is up to minus 92 degrees celsius okay so uh, in the last uh, sphere that is thermosphere it is the temperature is become increasing in nature that is increases up to 1200 degrees celsius okay Thank you.